So here we are just doing an update on the 1981 jet boat, converting it to electric using Tesla parts, motor, inverter, and battery modules. It's uh, September 21st, 2022. And once again, we're here in beautiful lake country. So Brian's got all the designing done for the electrical and I've finished installing all the main units. And now we're just gonna start wiring all the units together. We're having fun converting to electric. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're just uh, doing a bit of an update to the uh, contactor box that we uh, put together there, what, two months ago? I guess it was two months ago we did this. Um, just using the schematic there that I've modified a little bit. Uh, this is the original schematic from the, uh, uh, the contactor box as you see it in front of you here. Uh, so this is the, the, the basic contactors. Uh, we've got the pre-charge relay, bunch of fuses on there, and then we have a single relay on this schematic, which is right here on the original contactor box. However, we are adding two more relays here and two extra fuses, which make up this optional uh, setup right here. And that, that optional setup gives us two relays, one for the cooling pump and one for the fan. So we're actually, uh, this is going to allow us the, the water uh, liquid cooling system in the Tesla setup. So that's what we're working on right now. So I'm just splicing into some power wires taking some ready power and some constant power, 12 volts, and uh, that'll power these extra two relays. And then I'm going to add two circuits, which will add to this new plug here, plop it back onto the boat, and then the rest is just wiring up the rest of the system on the boat. So just adding a couple of inline fuses at this point. Uh, we've got our fuses here and we've decided to go with these uh, ACT style fuses instead of the glass style. It's a lot easier to add them in rather than drilling new holes. So just doing this uh, little bit of uh, soldering here is uh, tricky because the wire's quite a bit thicker gauge than the rest. But yeah, just take some time. Rather solder these connections than crimp them, especially if it's going to be in a boat, there's going to be a lot of vibration and a lot of bouncing around and then everything gets sealed and heat shrink. This box is pretty watertight anyway, so we shouldn't have an issue with it. But uh, yeah, it's best to make sure all the connections are watertight as well.
All right, so now we need to put these back in the box so they're nice and tidy, but they're ready for fuses. So we've got the purple for the water pump and the gray for the fan. And then I need a signal wire to come from this guy in brown, so I need a fair length of that. What do you think, I'm gonna be able to get that through? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> you said signal wire? Yeah, Four. so this, this one is the, so this brown wire is gonna come from the battery management system. And uh, so the battery management system has thermistor input from all of the batteries. So it will know when the batteries are reaching a certain temperature and we can program that in, whatever temperature that we want. We also have some extra thermistors that we can place around about the cooling system and uh, so we have got several inputs that we can use in the BMS and then the BMS will signal through this wire here which we're just adding to this plug right here and uh, that's, uh, that wire is going to give us the uh, input signal to turn the, uh, the relays on and off so that we can get power to the fans. Right now, I'm putting a weather pack seal onto this wire here, so it goes into the plugs. Each one of these uh, plugs has a weather pack there, so it actually has a bunch of seals on each individual plug there. It'll keep the water out, so uh, we have to build those, and each wire has a little yellow seal that goes around it there to keep the water out as well. So I'm just putting this extra wire onto the BMS connection, and that'll complete this plug. I've got to use these specialised crimpers for this, uh, these pins as well. Okay, good connection. And then the uh, seal gets put into the pin and then the crimpers crimp the pin around the seal. like that. So now the pin and the seal, you give it a tug to make sure it's a good connection. The pin and the seal are now one unit. And then that, I've got to make sure I do it to the right plug here, that gets inserted into the There we go. Give it a quick tug. And then if you look in the back of the plug, all those yellow, it's all sealed. All the wires are sealed right to the plug. Just like that. And then on the inside there, when the other side mates up with it, the yellow seal on the other side of the plug here will seal the inside of that as well. It keeps it nice and watertight. All right. You got the bolt right under there.
Electric, zero emission vehicle, go green.